just enter into the tomb of Christ. And again, this is the angel chapel, and I must tell you, you are not supposed to take pictures, pictures here, but no one is here. This is the first time that I can talk here. Then you can see here a table, and there is, according to tradition, this is the uh, rolling stone that used to close the, the tomb itself. Now the tomb is totally uh, not in surgery. It's got to be the inner part of it. This is another thing that it was important. The first time that it wasn't only empty, even the priest wasn't there. Now you can see that they will push her out. Although she is a Greek Orthodox woman, then she might he might let her pray there. Uh, but usually there's a queue here of hundreds of people. Then because we started the tour now earlier, uh, it was empty. Again, you can see that it's under renovation because in that church was destroyed for the last time at 1808 and it was destroyed by the Christians themselves. It was burned down. Then the dome collapsed and destroyed the site that was here, which is not the original, wasn't the original site too. It's supposed to be a cave. And later on I will show you a real tombs of Jews inside that church that shows it might be a cemetery at the time of Christ. Um, then they built it quickly in 1909 and it almost collapsed. And it took them 200 years to understand the mass renovated that place. And what we saw in the first part is the chapel of the angels that took care of the normal group. Uh, touch the body of Christ, but when Mary came to here on Sunday, it was she didn't see him, and she was running to all over to look for her, to look for him, and she found one that looks like a gardener, and she asked him, "Where is my Lord? You know what's happened to my Lord?" And he said, "I am your Lord." Then see, um, that was miracle, a miracle. Look, look what's happened now? Now I must say.